saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI, Brewster Blockbuster. Oh, man. I just recently reacted to the TV show Blockbuster. Um, since this video is definitely going to do more views than that, go check it out. I'll link it at the end. That video is not doing good. It's only got a couple hundred views. It's a terrible show. I barely laughed during it. It's just the worst reaction I think I've ever done, including my... FIFA My Team 2020 reaction I did on the first week of the channel, which did four views. I'd rather watch that than Blockbuster, but it's it's not doing good. So guys, help a brother out. Go check out the Blockbuster TV show pilot reaction with Santiago and Jimmy Woo. It was dreadful. But we're here for Bruce Juice Blockbuster featuring Mustache Wax. Alright, Mustache Wax. I've got mustache related plans for this channel as well. Yeah, figure that one out. Let's do it. Alright, when I was a kid, Blockbuster was a special place to me. It wasn't just an abandoned building where people shoot smack at like it is today. No, back <laughs> then it was a haven for all your video game and movie oh. rental need. What do we got here? Resident Evil 2 on the N64? Is that Lilac Wars? Wave Race? Oh, this is like day- Oh, WrestleMania 2000! Yes, please. Man, I had- Actually, I only had a few of those games. I had WrestleMania 2000, Super Mario, and Mario Kart. Maybe I got Wave Race for like 20 bucks, like, <laughs> years after it came out. Now, my family didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up, so when we went to Blockbuster, it was a huge deal. Mm. I'd be like, holy hell, we're going to Blockbuster? What is it, my birthday? Did we put our house up for a second mortgage? What the hell's the occasion, Mom and Dad? It was like a mini vacation for me. <laughs> I'd like get my picture taken there and make like a photo album. My vacation? <laughs> Alright, I used to love going down to our local. We had one called Movie Land. It was always a treat going down there. It was like a social event at times. Like, nothing better than when you've got friends over and then you go down to the video shop, like, together in a group. It was seriously like social media is now. Like, just you and your mates talking about whatever bullshit was on the shelves. Good times. Different times. In the Blockbuster. Here's me and the cashier. Here's the parking lot. Here's the syringe I found in the parking lot. Now, my most memorable visit to Blockbuster had to be the time that I got Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64. I remember my friend Michael <laughs> telling me about this Pokemon Stadium game. Dude, it looks so real. I thought a goddamn Charizard was gonna hop out of the screen and snatch up my little Man. sister. Man. I was like, hell yes, give me some of that shit. Because this was a big deal. It's Pokemon in 3D for Christ say this was right around the time where kids were selling their bodies on the street for pokemon cards so a few days later a christmas right, we'll get that off the screen before i pause it god damn it pokemon was never my thing growing up i do remember pokemon stadium coming out and pokemon snap that was a massive deal when that came out as well but uh i was not a pokemon kid so i never got caught up in the hype i never had to sell my body for pokemon cards thank god i just sold my body for basketball cards give me a shack Skylights? Yeah. This miracle happens, and we got to go to Blockbuster. So we pull up, I get out of the car, I'm prancing through the parking lot like a Las Vegas showgirl, and I waltz into the video game section, and of course, every goddamn <laughs> copy of that Pokemon Stadium's gone. There's like oh, a tumbleweed yeah. bouncing across the floor, and I'm like, God damn it, yep. I'm gonna get stuck with Pilot Wings 64 or some shit like I always do. <laughs> Nobody wants to play Pilot Wings, what the hell is that shit? But on that day, the Lord Almighty decided to throw me- <laughs> Man, this is ringing so fucking true. Nothing worse than going to the blockbuster or, or the movie land if you live in Gawla in South Australia. And the game that you want is like all out of stock. Especially if it's a new game. Ah. Oh. Be a bone. Let the boy have his Pokemon! I check up front to see if on the off chance a copy might have been returned and yeah. not put on the shelf yet. And lo and behold, there it was. Boom, I got it. Score. But we're not out of the woods yet. Because now I gotta listen to my dad argue with the cashier about our triple digit late, late fees, fees that we've acquired oh. over the years. Because my dad never returned anything on time. We'd have movies out for weeks. They'd have like my dad's picture hanging on the wall. You'd have to like sneak in wearing disguises and shit. Yeah, it says you guys had chitty chitty bag bag for uh... 
36 days. Okay, look, I'll give you $2 to put towards the late fee, all right? That's all I got. Yeah, you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh, for Christ's sake. What do you got in your pockets? Uh, I got a Skittle. $2 and a Skittle. How about that? <laughs> well, if that's all you guys can pay, you're gonna have to pick something a little shitty at a rent, okay? Uh, you got Pokemon Stadium here. I mean, that's Pokemon in 3D, for Christ's sake. I can rent you like a uh, Steven Seagal movie. Dude. Or, uh, or this one, Air Bud plays Dude. Oh, you can kiss my ass with Air Bud. I'm not getting an Air Bud movie, you hear me? So somehow, my dad talked our way into getting Pokemon Stadium that night. It might have been through sheer violence. On the topic of Air Bud, uh, check out my John Oliver Air Bud reaction. He breaks down that movie in egregious detail, and it is fucking hilarious. I don't know, I don't remember, but I did get it. I do remember sitting in the back seat, spazzing out like an idiot. Holy hell, I can't wait to get home and fight my fake animals against each other. I got home, and I played that game for like 16 hours straight. I yeah, didn't eat, as you I was do. Like shitting in a bucket in my room. Like I said, Maybe it's Pokemon in 3D. What a time to be alive. <laughs> so a week goes by, and I still have the game. Now, either my dad forgot to take the game back, or he just didn't care. Probably both, if we're honest with each other. Either way, I wasn't telling him. I was gonna ride this wave oh, for as long as no. I could. Another week goes by, and then a month goes by. Eventually, we get a letter in the mail from Blockbuster, and they're all like, Hey, you better give us our shit back, or we're gonna do something about it. Now what that something is, I have no idea. They gonna send a SWAT team to my house in the middle of the night, try to steal the game back? <laughs> Where is it? Where's that Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64? Did you hide it in one of your Furbies? Could open the Furby. <laughs> My dad comes into my Fuck room like, hey, do you got a game from Blockbuster here? Some, uh, poke, uh, poke man stadium? What is it? <laughs> Pokey, Pokeytron? Pokeytron state? What the hell is it called? And I'm like, yeah, dad, I've had it since like the fourth grade. I don't even know where it's at right now. I think you've been using it as a coaster for your beer the past couple weeks. I didn't really know what we were supposed to do at this point. We've had the game so long. Do we just drop it off in the middle of the night? Like we're abandoning a baby at a fire station? <laughs> but to my surprise, my dad's like, oh, well, to hell with it. Looks like we're keeping it. I was like, oh, hell yeah. We high-fived, confetti flew from the ceiling. Looks like I got a Pokemon Stadium for practically nothing. Years went by, and I kept that game. Oh, and you know no. what Blockbuster decided to do about it? Nothing. They closed. Netflix assassinated it. <laughs> Still got that Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> now, sure, I guess we practically stole the game. Show me the picture of it. I'm sure he's still got it. I'd do it again. And you know why? Because it's Pokemon in 3D, for Christ's sake. How many times do I got to tell you? Well, it's not bad. BruceDude.com I would love to have seen the actual cartridge <laughs> if he still had a picture of it with the blockbuster like barcode on the uh, on the cartridge that would have been great but man that was a mad um, like nostalgia trip for me video shops they were literally just like the coolest fucking places to go <laughs> it was like every movie ever was just there for you to like at least look at and read on the back and and this was before the days of the internet because that's how much of a dinosaur i am like video shops i cannot stress how important a part of like society and people's upbringings those places were they were absolutely nuts who the hell is mustache wax in that uh is that someone who made those, like, uh, real-life Pokemon pictures? Is that who that was? And what's up with Bruce Drew's dad never returning shit on time? Come on, man. <laughs> Get your shit together. I mean, he ended up getting a free Pokemon Stadium game out of it, which is a solid effort. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one. Uh, I'm gonna put a little clip of my, uh, Air Bud John Oliver reaction at the end of this, because it's a really obscure thing. You've probably never seen it. You're probably never gonna look it up. But I really recommend it. I'll put a couple of minutes of it at the end of this. Give that a look and then go watch the whole thing. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Now let's check out John Oliver talking shit about Air Bud. Crucial point, <laughs> there isn't a rule preventing the dog from playing basketball is the central conceit of the film, but it doesn't really address the key question, which is, should the dog play basketball? And set aside a moment the morality or the ethics at play here. Let's talk purely about Air Bud's basketball production. <laughs> Here's what we know about Air Bud, this? or Buddy, which is his given name, based on the game tape that is available to us. Two steals, right. five assists, not bad. two free throws, Good. and four field goals. That is it. That is his entire box score. Now, I'm not saying that that's bad. No one's saying that's bad. <laughs> but is that dog an asset to the Fernfield Timberwolves? The Showtime Timberwolves? I'd submit that he's... I don't know. I don't know. There are a bunch of kids. I don't know which of those idiot kids is getting five assists. That's a, you know, that's a quality stat right there. But yeah, you only put up 10 points. Set 
to the Fernfield Timberwolves. The Showtime Timberwolves. I submit not the that Showtime he's not. Timberwolves. It's honestly shocking to me that a coach so focused on teamwork, cooperation, and ball movement would allow such a distraction to dominate the team's narrative. Again, <laughs> if Buddy was doing numbers. Now, if he's putting up 30 to 40 points a night, we're having a very different conversation right now. <laughs> but he's not, is he? I repeat, four field goals. And apart from the steals, he's a Whoa. complete liability on defence. And there's an even bigger question when it comes... I did not expect this was going to become a specifically detailed basketball breakdown of the skill set of Airbud. <laughs> comes to should Airbud be playing basketball, and that is that Airbud crucially is not Josh's dog. Oh yeah, good point. Right? <laughs> yeah.